Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths channel, and I'm now answering question number four from the Cambridge 0580 specimen paper for paper two, which is a non calculator paper of the new uh, syllabus, which is going to first be examined in March 2025 onwards. Now, this question here is about angles. Um, you know, basic angle facts, angles and triangles, and um, you know the only difference between the type of question you see here and the question you had in the old syllabus is the calculations. Of course, must be done without using a calculator. So you know it's not. Uh, it's, this is some a challenge for some students who've been using calculators for many years, and they don't. They've forgotten how to do some of the basic um, arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, and you know confidently. So that's something that we have to make sure that we are confident with that's really the challenge in this type of question compared to before all right so it says the diagram shows two triangles a b d a b d which is a small triangle which is inside the big triangle or next to the triangle a d c so you can say that a a b d and a d c are two triangles which are joined together as we can see b d c is a straight line a b and b c are the same as it's marked this isosceles triangle so these two sides are the same ABD, the angle ABD is 61 degrees, and angle ADC is 81 degrees, as shown in the diagram. So we got to work out the angle DAC. Now DAC, DAC, to, to identify the angle, the, the, the place where the angle is marked is in the middle here, and these are marked the two arms from which the angle is made. So you can say DAC is the angle over here. Starts at D. A is in the middle where the angle actually is, and it goes to C, D, A, C. So this is the angle that we have to find. Okay, let me call this X. So we're going to say D, A, C, let's call it X. Okay, that's the angle we're trying to find. Now, what we need to do to find angle X is we need to basically um, think about how to go about this. Um, now, in this type of question, you think, why do they give us that these are the same length? That's something they gave us. Of course, that's going to have some bearing in the question. They don't just give us things, you know, um, with no reason in most cases. So we can see that this, these two lengths are the same, which means that this is an isosceles triangle. Now, isosceles triangle, so ABC is isosceles. So we can say the triangle ABC is isosceles. If I spell it right, I'm not sure how to spell it. Isosceles. Okay, isosceles. However you spell it, anyway. So that's isosceles. So isosceles triangles, in the base of the two equal sides, you have two angles which are equal. So this angle is 61 degrees. So we can say angle ACB is equal to angle um, ABC. Okay, and the reason for that is you have isosceles triangles. Okay, the base angles of isosceles triangles. So these two angles are 61. Once we've worked that out, it's very easy for us now. We can consider triangle ADC. So if you look at triangle ADC, okay, there's only one angle we don't know, which is this. We know these two. So we can say that if we consider this, this triangle, therefore we can say triangle DAC is, what am I doing there? Angle DAC which is what we're trying to find, we call it x, is equal to 180 minus the sum of 61 plus 81. These two angles added together, subtracted from 180 gives you this because angles in a triangle, angles in a triangle, we know they add up to 180. So that's going to give you 180 minus, now this is where the challenge would be for some students, they don't know how to add things together and subtract them like this. So this is like 180 minus, and if you want to make it a bit easier for yourself, you can say this is 180 minus 140 plus 2. Okay, so it's like 180 minus 140 and then take away 2. If you want to think about it like that, you have 180 minus 140 and minus 2. That's going to give you 180 minus 40 is going to be 40. 40 minus 2 is 38 degrees. You can think about it like that if you want. Or you can do just straight away 180 minus 142 and you can do your subtraction you know you need to borrow one from here that becomes seven that that carries one over two 
take away uh, 10 take away 2 is 8 7 take away 4 is 3 that gives you 0 so you're left with 38 degrees so there's different methods you could use to you you know do mental kind of um, arithmetic which is needed in this type of question okay but there we have it the answer to this question 38 degrees previously it would have taken a lot less you just put this in your calculator 180 minus 142 equals 38 and straight away you'll, and hopefully by the time you have mastered you know mental arithmetic and doing these calculations without a calculator it should be equally as fast for most of these calculations right it's nothing really too difficult about it it's just that many students have have uh, lost the skill of mental arithmetic because of the fact they have um you know been reliant on the calculators for too long so that's what this paper here is designed to address okay so that concludes the question as i said i'm just, I'm, I'm going to save each question as a separate video so if you want to see the other questions on this paper you go to the playlist which will appear at the end of the video at this area over here if you want to find um, other questions dealing with this topic of basic angle facts um, in geometry um, you can find them in this playlist over there um, and um, yeah so I'm going to save a, play, a playlist here just purely with the new paper two type of questions and I have another playlist over here which will have uh, questions dealing with angle basic angle facts from the old syllabus where we were allowed to use calculators because the basic principles will be the same the only difference will be in the calculations at the end I would probably use a calculator for some of them there here um, in these type of questions we won't be and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon